The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone, across all time zones. A very warm welcome from Prague, Czech Republic, and thank you for joining this global webinar where we want to share the latest version of Smart Agent with you and to give you a fresh look on how consolidator business can be done. Now, first of all, uh, let's start with our quick, quick introduction. My name is Tibor. On our team, I've been responsible for e-commerce sales and marketing for the past eight years. Uh, most of the time, I'm in contact with you, your travel port teams and customers explaining our solutions and helping find the right one for them. And I also have my colleague Patrick here with me today who will be doing the live demo. Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Collins. I started as a ticketing agent working for Czech Airlines in Prague. Then I joined KLM in Johannesburg, South Africa as a ticketing supervisor. And now I'm glad to be working together with the young guys from the CE systems back in Prague. Now, our head office is based in Prague, uh, Czech Republic. And before the live demo, just a short background to who we are and what we do. So first of all, it's important to explain that we're two companies in one. As a travel port operator, we take care of agencies using travel port GDS in these 12 countries in Central and Eastern Europe. And as a developer and travel ports official partner, we are present across all markets because we are represented and our products are distributed by local travel port teams. Now, the reason that we became a developer about 15 years ago is that at times our travel agencies here locally needed certain solutions. So we decided to start developing those tools. And since then, we've been helping travel port fill any portfolio gaps so that the travel agencies around the world have the right tools to grow their businesses. So that's in a nutshell how the brand CE travel systems came into existence and we develop exclusively for travel agencies and developers connected to Travelport. Uh, we keep expanding our portfolio. So to help Travelport teams and customers get familiar with it more easily, we've started dividing the products into three categories. The first group, search and book, are tools to help agents and passengers search travel content and create bookings. So here you can see our online booking tool, mobile apps, corporate booking tool, and many others. The second group, post booking, are tools to help agents handle created bookings. And the third group, developers, are APIs for our solutions from the first two categories. And these are handy for bigger agencies with own programmers or for developers of travel related apps like ourselves. Uh, we've been in touch with travel port teams around the world for many years and with their customers and we're intensively helping them. So our tools are now used in more than a hundred countries around the world. Well, okay now, so that's it for the short, uh, short uh, introduction. And now let's take a closer look at Smart Agent. And for that, I'll hand over to Patrick who will show you uh, around the tool in his live demo. Patrick, over to you, please. Thanks, Tibor. Today, I will show you our great and trusted product, Smart Agent. Smart Agent is on the market for several years now, but now with our new COVID situation, become much more popular. Smart Agent allows non-YATA agencies issue tickets the same way the YATA agency does. And even non-trained staff can issue airline tickets. The only requirement for non-YATA agency is to have a GDS Galileo and to have agreement with the YATA agency. I will show you how non-YATA travel agency, we call them sub-agents, will issue tickets, EMD, how ticket can be exchanged and voided, all using smart agent. Then I also show you how YATA agency, we call them consolidators, can control each sub-agent's account and top up the virtual deposit. Let's start making the booking and issuing tickets using Smart Agent by someone who, who is not trained to use Travelport SmartPoint. So firstly, we'll sign in into the Smart Agent. So you will get from us username and password. And sign in. Uh, this is how the main page looks like. On top, you can see 
your balance as a SAP agent. So this is our balance and this is our consolidator PCC. Uh, we can check the booking list and start new booking by clicking on new booking button. And we'll travel from Paris to Amsterdam. I will choose Sunday in September, just a one way. So here on top, you can see different airlines, the prices. And for this flight, we're going to choose a direct flight, the evening flight, uh, KLM flight. And uh, because uh, Smart Agent uh, incorporates uh, branded fares as well, we can decide if we're going to buy a ticket with a bag or not. In this case, we're going to travel light with no bag. So we select the first option. And fill in the details, the phone number title and if you're selling tickets to the same passenger you don't have to fill in the names again because the smart agent will remember all the details from the previous entries so it makes the process so much faster we'll just confirm the other conditions and create the booking Uh, <clears throat> once the booking is done, we will we can just issue the ticket. So the booking is done. We not gonna add another bag so or any other bag. So we can just click continue, and the booking is ready for ticketing. So this is our booking reference, and. Now, in the next step, we just need to set up the commission and the commission is controlled by consolidator, the other agency. So the sub agent, all they need to do is to click on this set. The commission is added. In this case, it's zero and click issue ticket. So at this moment, ticket is being issued the amount for this ticket is deducted from the deposit and now we can just send the email to the client with this itinerary and ticket and all is done we can check this booking in smartpoint as well just to see how it looks in smartpoint And this is the booking we just made in Smart Agent. And just to be sure, we can check the ticket as well. So this ticket is issued. And in the next example, I'll show you uh, booking can be done in SmartPoint as well if it's some more experienced uh, ticketing agent. Uh, they don't have to use smart agent to use to make a booking and then we are also going to exchange that ticket so you can go back to smart point and start the booking and we're going to travel from Sao Paulo to Rio. And because we would like to have a bag, we're going to 
use this entry using the branded fats to fair code with the baggage. So we can store the fat just to make sure the bag is included. So we can finish the booking. So now the booking is ready for ticketing in Smart Agent. We can use the entries in SmartPoint as well to issue a ticket, <clears throat> but for this purpose, it's going to be quicker if we're just going to go back to Smart Agent and issue it there. So I'll just copy the booking reference. And we're going to find it here. And now we can issue the ticket. So this is how the file fare looks, how it looks like in Smart Agent. And again, all we need to do is to set the commission. In this case, it's again zero and issue the ticket. So the ticket is issued. It includes one bag and again we can send the email to the passenger and passenger is ready to go so let's check this booking in smart point again so here we can see the ticket is issued it includes one bag and now we are going to imagine that Passenger would like to travel one week later. So we're going to change the booking and uh, reissue the ticket using Smart Agent. First, we have to check if the flight can be changed or if there is any penalty. And in this case, changes are permitted. And there is no penalty, only for no show, which is not our case. So I'm going to change the date. Okay, not the right date. Okay, so let's check the availability. And we will try the 20 September. Let's see if there is the same flight. Okay, so now the passenger is going to travel on 20 September. And we can go to Smart Agent and reissue this ticket. So we're going to synchronize this booking using this button right top corner. And for reissue, we need to add a new fair quote. Because we need booking with a bag, we click here on Show More Settings. And here, additional modifiers, we're going to add this branded fares modifier for fares with the bag. And because we are using the same booking class, the fare code should be the same, like which one is on the ticket. Looks the same, so we're going to save it. And now we can go to electronic tickets, choose exchange. And here we can see the amounts on the ticket and taxes. And the new file fare, which is exactly the same because we're using the same booking class, the same taxes. There is no penalty, so we don't need to fill in this part. 
you just add commission, which is going to be zero, and confirm the exchange. So ticket is exchanged. And now we can see two tickets here. This one, the gray one, was exchanged. And here we've got a new one with a new date. We can check it in smart point as well. And here we can see original exchange ticket and the new ticket. So this is how you exchange ticket using SmartPoint. And now we'll go back to Ms. Blanchet ticket and add one checked in bag because now she just advised us that she actually wants to travel with checked bag. So we've got two options. We can just look for her booking using a booking number or we can go to here to booking list and find a booking and have a look. So now we find the booking. Can have a look at the ticket again and add some special services. Click on add. Choose consolidator. The sub agents can decide to have more consolidators accounts, and that's great because sometimes the sub agents can have consolidators on different markets and choose which PCC is the cheapest for them to issue the ticket. Okay. We'll check the services which are offered by the airline. And here we can see we can add first additional bag. We'll just take that one and add service. The same thing can be done in SmartPoint using shopping basket. Uh, but um, I would say it's the same uh, like doing it here in Smart Agent. Now we'll click on special services. It's already confirmed. So we don't have to sun synchronize the add commission and we can go ahead and issue EMDA for extra bag. So at this moment, the ticket and EMD for extra bag is issued. So this is the ticket and here is the EMD. Again, we can check in smart point. The same booking. And check the EMD. So again, you can send the confirmation to the passenger and passenger is ready to go with the bag the check-in bag. So now I'm going to show you how you can void the EMD, void the ticket, void the uh, exchange, and also how to cancel the booking just in case you need to do it and we have to do it here because it's just for training purposes, these bookings. So firstly, I'll show you how you avoid EMD. Uh, when you issue EMD, you have options to send it to the email, to the passenger or your own email, void it or refund it. So we'll just click on void, confirm, and the EMD is going to be voided. And the amount for the EMD we just issued is going to be credited back to our deposit amount. The same we can do with the e-ticket. 
just do the point ticketing. And once the ticket is voided, we can cancel the whole booking as well. Right here, the bottom corner. And just to make sure everything went fine, we'll check it in smart point. And here you can see the flight was cancelled. The AMD is voided. And the ticket is also voided. <clears throat> so now we're going to check the other booking from Sao to Rio. Check it here. We open it from the list of bookings. Here we've got two tickets. This is a new ticket which was issued <clears throat> for exchange. So we're going to avoid the exchange. At this moment, the original ticket is opened. So we're going to Void the original ticket as well. And now we can cancel the whole booking. So we are done. Again, we can check it in smart point, make sure everything went fine. And this booking is canceled and Tickets as well. Tickets are voided. So this is how you avoid EMD and tickets and even exchange. And here there is also button for transaction history. So you can see when you issue the ticket, uh, when you do the voiding or refund, the amounts, booking locators, all this can be downloaded as well for your accounting purposes. So that's the sub-agent part. And now I'll show you consolidator pages and see what can be done from consolidator side. So again, we're going to sign in. So I'll show you some real consolidator account. So this is one of our bigger consolidator. They've got quite a few sub agents. And as you can see, some sub agents are using more than one PCC. And here you can click on the PCC, see all the transactions. And you can also edit what you want to allow sub agents to do in smart agent. In this case, this agency can pay by cash invoice and they can do fair quote, ticketing, voiding, exchange. They can do refund as well. And they can decide which PCC they're going to use to issue tickets. They've got three options here. Like I said, it's great if the consolidator have got more offices in different countries then the sub-agent just choose which one is the best for him to use. And now I'll show you how the consolidator top up each sub-agent's account with a virtual deposit, because that's the main job they do, the consolidators. They mainly topping up the amounts and issuing invoices for sub agencies because they don't have to worry about anything else all can be done by sub agents themselves so show you our account so this is for training so i'll show you how we're gonna top up this sub agent So we click on PCC, 
click on add transaction and add let's say 15,000 it's a manual top up and save so now you can see immediately that the deposit was increased by 15,000 and you can see it here as well again this tab can be downloaded into excel and use it for consolidator accounting purposes so this was uh, <clears throat> introduction to sub agent and consolidate pages and as you can see yata agency is in full control and that's why smart agent is very safe and popular product there is much more which can be done, but we have to wrap it up here, guys, as we are out of time once again. And thank you for watching. Give us a like and have a wonderful day. Back to you, Stibor. Thank you, Patrick, for showing us around Smart Agent. Uh, just a few notes to wrap up here. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free uh, to reach out via our email that uh, you can see on your screens now. Uh, if any of your colleagues didn't have time to join us for this session, uh, we will be sending out a recording of the webinar to all those who registered, so you can share it with them then. And uh, any new consolidator can start with Smart Agent with a one-month free trial, and you can then activate unlimited number of sub-agents free of charge. So thank you all again for joining us today. Take care, stay in health, and see you next time.